Hello everyone and welcome back to the third Profile podcast, now importantly named Profile Saves the World, with your host Matt Davis binge Matt Pateman and Chris Pennington. Guys, what do you think to the new name? I like it. It's good. I like it. <laughs> well, okay, what was the, I don't. I don't think. What were the right. options? <laughs> what were the options? Um, the options were Ali Bennett. <laughs> Christ, she told us <laughs> this was her. This was her little uh, love child. So we're going to give her to, give this to her. Profile Saves the World. She's, this is her podcast. So. Fair play. We'll let her have it. Cool. Yeah. Profile Happy can't with that. Touch Ali, if you watch him, this one's for you, yes. mate. No, this one's better than that one. Well, profile can't touch. Yeah, I, 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 I don't don't touch my profile. Don't, don't touch, touch my profile. profile. Yeah. yeah, no. Profile podcast was another option. I quite like people touching my profile. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with profile podcast? No, it's just, come uh, on, we need to, we, 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 we're all about branding and marketing, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Branding and marketing. Oh, check out the profile podcast. Profile yeah. digital agency podcast. Yeah. Boring. Right. Profile of saves the world. That kind of is our mission statement, isn't it? Saving bi- young businesses and, yeah. and people with their online presence. Yeah, makes sense. Let's go for it. Something like that. Yeah, astronaut. He's coming down to space. He's not on there. No. Too <laughs> not today. No. <laughs> he's All still right, up. Cool. All right. So let's kick things off. Third episode. We've had a couple of good weeks talking about <clears throat> business, where we've come from, where we're going. Let's talk about the present day news of the week. Something I think we should talk about each week. News of the week. What's been happening in your, your departments, fellas? What's going on? What's the news in the business? Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Well, what is my department? I don't uh, just know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's use my notes. <laughs> so my, this my, week. my department's the whole f***ing... <laughs> oh. have to put... Can you put a flipper noise over that, yeah. Ollie? Like, is that, that, what, that, that was a... What's the ruling <laughs> you know, on that? What is the ruling on that? No swearing, no. no swearing. Oh, I was trying to give it off. PG, so, mate. Sorry PG. about that. Yeah. yeah my, all right. my department is the whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, well... You digressed. Filming with Hotel Chocolat this week, which is great with Ollie, the young man over there. Um, I'll kick it off. Um, that was amazing. Really, really cool. Which, uh, where did you go? We went to four locations. Right. Two in Covent Garden, one in Regent Street. Oh, so and, it was all London. And one in King's Cross. Wow. So this is, this is good to talk about, actually. So we met up with the marketing team, um, the marketing manager, someone from the marketing team and someone from HR. Mm. Um, so HR and marketing split the cost of the video this particular day and they wanted to capture some, not only some marketing pro- promo material for the wonderful people they've got working in their stores, but also they asked questions that were relevant for HR about how cool it is to work for that partic- for, for, for Hotel Chocolat. Um, and as Oli told you, they, they interviewed some amazing people. That's awesome. Like really, really cracking people. Pick the sort of people that when it goes out, people, they're like... Celebrities in the making, you know, like really, really <laughs> cool people. But people go into store now when they see after seeing those videos and be like, "Oh, it's you from the yeah, okay. from the social video." So yeah, yeah. It's good. we filmed them vertical, uh, social media first videos. Right. So they re- yeah, they're really cool. Well, Filming vertical. Did you do them on cam? Yeah. On the proper camera. Yeah. Wow, that must have been interesting. Yeah, so they're going to be distributed across their social media channels. Nice. And internal Ollie as well. Yeah, he's nodding at me. And website. Yeah, cool. Ooh. East. That's really, really cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, what have we got on there? I've got on there <laughs> the new cover video. New cover video? On for Facebook. Oh, that's a cool video. Yeah, it really is yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a cool video. Do you know what? Like that video, actually, I was, I was looking back at it and considering considering how it looks, you'd think it's been done with like some sort After of... After Effects, isn't it? Yeah, like some... Animation. Yeah, animation, yeah. but... The concept's actually pretty simple. Isn't it? Well, I was going to say the simplicity of it, it is as it, it, it is cool. as it looks, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Well, the beautiful thing about that was it. Well, however, it looks. It took us from concept to filming to editing was probably done in two hours. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet it didn't take that. Yeah, long. no, the girls because um, you executed it all the majority of it on camera, yeah, didn't you? So yeah, there's not yeah. much to no, do. No, after I think Leanne did the WhatsApp, WhatsApp me the camera images of the stuff. Stuck the phone to the desk, Ollie prepped all the camera stuff, got the trop and lent over it, and, and uh, Ali's, yeah, Ali's, cool. Ali's, Ali's, Ali's uh, f- Ali fingers. G. Ali G's <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Bolt! <laughs> <laughs> Ali's, um, <laughs> with her, used her famous hands, because she had her nails done uh, the, 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 uh, the soonest. That's no, good, you need a good looking hand, to be fair. Yeah, yeah couldn't well, have had stabs, <laughs> gorilla fists. Yeah, exactly. Absolute gorilla <laughs> fists, like, <laughs> like, done three or four swipes, and go, ah, <laughs> <laughs> just smash the phone. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so that was really good. That that was it's, good it's, a, it's a really dynamic cover photo. If anyone lands on our Facebook page, they're going to see what we do, and it's really elegant, and, yeah. but also simple. I think half the time it's, it's no, about think, keeping it simple. No, it looks good. It does look good. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So, yeah, that was, a, yeah, it was really cool to see that unfolding. Yeah, it, it's like it's like a proper unboxing video, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, right. you've done a few of them, haven't you? Yeah, I've done a few. Like a point of view, looking yeah, down. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I think like I don't, I don't know who started them, but the ones that caught my eye were like the taste maids of the the world and stuff like that, yeah. showing you these mean recipes on camera. <laughs> yeah, no, they're really sim really simple to do. Anyone point, can do them as well. Point of view videos yeah. really resonated as well, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Makes you feel like you're there, looking. It's like your eyes and they're looking down on something. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Best thing is anyone could do. Mm. Anyone. Yeah. So, yeah. And the other bit of news that I want to kind of want to report on is the, um, something you might be able to help us with, Stab, is that we've done lots of local videos this week, which is great. A lot of video content for local businesses too. Yeah. Like Doritos. Yeah. Example, Phil Dad. Yeah, uh, great little video for there. Launch promo. Um, Some great what stuff. What else have we done? Is that Doritos in St. Ives? Yeah, the new, the new place. Uh, good, very, very, very nice looking uh, little. <laughs> Where you been, Ollie? <laughs> um, I, this is actually my department. I should know this. <laughs> yeah. What, what you been up to? We know. Um, <laughs> we've, we've been having um, photography, photo shoots of particular clients, um, particularly in the jewelry sector, which has been exciting That's as it. well. Because actually, after the shoot, we worked out that what we were there to shoot wasn't actually the main. Uh, activity in the business, which has led us into another one called hmm. Two, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, so, yeah, um, ultimately, I think it's been a great week for the video department, which I think will lead us on nicely to a couple of points after. Um, probably the first thing I want to kick off on, if that's okay with you guys, is um, I want to chat about getting started if you've got a business idea or concept and you're unsure what to do, like getting when you've got no budget. Getting started from nothing. Interesting. Where's the obviously it's, it's sector specific, yeah. specific, easy for you to say. Um, but what what would be your roadmap, Chris? I know you've done it a couple of times. Yeah. Um, I, it completely depends on what I'm selling. Um, if you know, like, what, what, explain product or service or um, either or, either or. I suppose if you're a service, just break it down for people. Should, yeah, go on. Go on. Maybe. No, I was going to say um, if you're a service. You reverse engineer the mechanic of you getting work is putting yourself about in as many places as possible, mm -hmm. especially if you start up for as cheap as possible. So, so identifying. I'm talking about nothing. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Okay. Zero budget. Facebook page. Yeah. Uh, and hustle. Yeah. Facebook yeah. page hustle. Getting the groups. Getting the you groups. Know, put like, your name about. I don't. Um, my only experience is is really this. Yeah. yeah. Well, we How did many it. messages did we send day and night? Yeah. Yeah. Exhaust your existing network. Yeah, hundred percent. Beg, borrow, that's, steal for yeah, people's yeah. attention. That's Whatever an interesting need. point. You've just br brushed over that exhausting your network. Dive into that. Well, yours helped. <laughs> <laughs> Exhaust binges network, <laughs> and then go over it again and again, <laughs> yeah. and then come back a year later for something else. Yeah, well, you know, you you know a lot of people in a lot of circles, which mm -hmm. obviously does help. And you know, your Facebook page, your social circles, your mm. Parents, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, whoever you mm. need to, whoever you need to speak to that you yeah. know is in your circle, even if it's not in your inner circle, if it's your outer circle, yeah. acquaintances or whatever, don't be shy about it. Don't like it's not shame. It's, there's no shame in asking for help. No. Yeah, no, no, no. definitely. Yeah, Nine times out of ten, people support you as well if well, they know you're trying to do something. And, and I've had this conversation with one of our new clients recently. Yeah, only just started up. They've got. Their concept, their their product, mm. it's their baby. But in terms of kind of getting out there and doing the work, obviously we're helping them with their is Facebook. It a, is it a side hustle, evenings and weekends? Uh, I, I don't actually know. Okay. I, I think it might actually be their main business moving oh, cool, forward, which cool, is cool, even cool. more reason to yeah, no, to go at it in mm. whatever angle you can. Yeah. Um, you know, my my question number one was: Have you signed? Uh, have you approached these people? Have you approached that those people? Have you asked for shares? You know, just to sit, mm. just something as simple as saying, "Please share yeah. my post," you know, yeah, or yeah. share it yourself into local groups. Yeah. Whatever, mm. you, whatever you can do for free, just to get one booking or one order or off the ground. In, in, it took it took us it took me a month to sign our first client. Yeah, mm. yeah. And, I, and I pretty much had to pretty much had to beg for an opportunity. That's like brilliant, brilliant advice for getting started. 
long game plan, however, for me, I don't think enough people use their own social media to promote themselves credibly and authentically as they could. I think they're held back by the fear of their friends and, and, and peers judging them. Oh my God, what's he up to now? Trying to do this, this mm. and this. And they, and they look scared to do it, which ultimately does affect their business. Yeah. I think if you really want to be taken seriously, like you're talking about messaging people, it's like, it does work. It does, but it's a little bit like chasing a cat that we always speak about. I did it shamelessly, really. Yeah. But do you, yeah, think, no, I, do no. you, think, I, do you think I cared? No, but I, 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 I mean either, but I think people do. <laughs> Other people do. Yeah, and it's do. like chasing a cat. If you chase a cat, it'll run away. My, what my point is, <laughs> if you've got something the cat wants, it'll come to you. If you're credible and authentic and you're singing the right song for day in, day out consistently, people will come to you. And that is a much better place to be so, than, than chasing people for le- leasing no, whatever you want. But that's great advice. But also, I think people need to... I think, what, how, about, how do you go about those people that just want like a little side project? Mm. You know, like they 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 have a full time job and then yeah, yeah yeah you know they want to go and do it's some the same, side work. They're not exactly going to. Sometimes they won't promote it well, because generally they might have a bit of money. They yeah. might actually have a bit of money to put well, into it. It's just a little muscle. bit of a little bit of a side income just to play with it. If they haven't, the, the concept's still the same. Mm. You do the same, just you've got less time to work at it, or yeah. or not actually it depends. Yeah, it's true. Do you know what people say to me as well? Yeah, when I say, why don't you think about taking your social media more seriously? I don't know if it's the competitive side of me, but I say, uh, you know, put some money into it, make it a little bit more professional. Say, oh, it's only a bit of fun. Fun to me is making it work and making money on it and making it actually be a success. Yeah. Just dabbling in it a little bit and it not really doing a lot, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me. Mm. Like, fun is the actually watching it grow and watching it work. Yeah. Because well, you know when I mean? the results come in, you're yeah. buzzing, aren't you? So. I, I, I'd have, I'm smiling when I have the results. Mm. Not yeah. for the fact that I'm doing, you know, but that's just, maybe that's just me. I know a particular a friend of mine that started a, a trailer and they did it all as a bit of fun. Didn't put any stuff into marketing properly at all. And it, that now they're not having fun because they're not taking bookings. And it's yeah. exactly what I thought. It's really a shame. Yeah. Taking, okay. taking your social media seriously incredibly from day one, I think it's hugely important. You know, branding. Unless we haven't spoken about that once either. Mm-hmm. So much free software out there now where you can create your own logo. Like, I think my yeah. first lo- logo I ever did with us, maybe, I, maybe it was 50 quid. That was probably the only 50 quid I had at the time. But now, I know you, for a fact you can go onto Canva. Yeah. Canva.com, anyone listening? Go and have a look at that. It's a brilliant place to do infographics posters, cover photos, um, even booklets, leaflets, whatever. It's very, very simple to use, but probably the best thing that will help you guys is logos. Like if your logo needs a little refresh, get on there. It may only be a JPEG that will get you by for the first couple of months, but at least until you start earning a bit of money, then you can approach someone like us to design you a proper It does help, a proper if, you, it does help if you know how yeah. to, like it does help to be yeah. a little bit creative and design, because I've, yeah, I've used that, Canva, but, I've used Canva, and I'm still rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> they do have some good templates on there, though. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but they what do, my point yeah. is, they're very basic, but they do look. They will look professional. Mm. And you could probably start a Facebook page tomorrow, similar what to what we've done with Food Review Club. That was all done on Canva. Um, it doesn't need to. You don't need to spend huge loads of money on branding, or certainly let the fact you haven't got any money get in the way of starting. That's yeah. Is that, that's, I think that's yeah. it. I think that's, that's, that's probably a fairer point. Yeah. Yeah. I think what I'm trying to say, don't don't devalue. Someone that's an actual designer, no, they true. they can add so much value to that. But well, yeah. if you have no money and you look and you need to get started, there's no better way. Yeah, definitely. All right, so look, getting started. Message from you. Get, just have, just go, just go for it. What you got to lose? Yeah, even more even more so if you are in employment, you've got nothing to lose. No, you know? no, no, no. Just be. Um, it's, the only, the only thing holding you back is the outside noise, really. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should probably listen to my own advice <laughs> yeah. at times, but there you go. It's the main thing is just don't, don't be one of those who, you know, like if you do, for example, have a full-time job and you want a little side hustle, you must put time into it. We're talking about people. We're talking about people that actually want to do it. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. You get some people that just, you know, they set it up and that's it. Done. I've spoke to people who say yeah. they, oh, I can't do that until I have this amount of money from no. my website. You don't need a website. No, start with a Facebook page. Start no. with a Facebook page. Build some credibility. Earn a couple of quid, and then then start on Shopify or start on some build your yeah. own website on WordPress. Hundred percent. Like, 
again, it won't be fit for purpose and it won't be good, as maybe as good as what something like an agency like us could do for you, but mm. it will certainly get you started. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's no harm in that at, no, at all. No, Just, at there's all. a lot you can do by yourself. My yeah. first Shopify site was cost me £15 a month. I think anyone watching this now, you know you could probably afford £15 out of your budget, you know, yeah. every month. Like, yeah. we all could. Yeah, 100%. £15 a month for hosting and whatever, and I designed it myself. And I think it just took me like three weeks to design it, but I still cool. got there in the end. Oh, mate, I was <laughs> crap. Chris, once, one part of it, yeah, I uh, thought I didn't like the theme. Yeah. I changed the oh, theme, no. <laughs> thinking all the content would stay where it was. No, no, no. And I changed the theme, and that's start again. Oh. I, I cried. I, I nearly cried. <laughs> Not to say I cried. I think my, I, my, my, I had a little quiver of the lip. <laughs> You should have called me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was, I, was doing it, I was doing it out of pride, you know. <laughs> Fair play. No, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah I was good. doing it out of pride. No, you've got to start somewhere. Yeah, exactly right. Like years ago, I needed a website. This mm. was many moons ago. I finished uni, started my own business, doing um, film production. Needed a website. Couldn't afford one for love nor money. Learned how to do it myself. Yeah, and now look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but at, through that process, it, you know, triggered... Enormous amounts now, of interest, now we, and now yeah. he wishes he hasn't Adam Bob. Yeah, no, I wish, <laughs> wish I paid someone else to do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was good fun. Teach good yourself fun. to fish, and you'll and you'll eat for life, my friend. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, but buying a rod now and again is good as well. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that right? No, well done. buying no. a fish. Buying a fish. <laughs> Give a man a fish yeah, and you'll eat yeah, for a the day. Rod, the rod does. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've just completely yeah, yeah. ruined that, innit? Yeah, you get a rod, you eat forever. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. that's it. Rod is what you want. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to fish. That's, kind of, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the point is, he's got the ability to fish. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's, that's, you, can, you can have a fish any time you want, but at least I you know. I did a coaching you, website yeah. six years ago. Did you? I thought it was wicked. I now know I was wrong. I, no, I, no I, I saw that website. I thought it was all right, mate. You built that on WordPress, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Probably about three weeks as well. Yeah, you, did, you did what you needed to do to get it off the ground, mate. You come join my... Come in... Yeah. yeah. yeah come yeah, in yeah, the war room, I, mate. You can come get right. stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> you do that can, there. I can put text in the boxes. Yeah. God. <laughs> oh, the thing is, the thing is, right, that's kind of cool you said that. The website game, hence what you guys are putting out now, has moved so far on. I remember when we used to get those, like, really flat looking, just like, mm. like bro I'll say brochure websites. Yeah. And we're putting out stuff now for brochure website prices that will just blow you away. Like some of the sliders you put, you guys are putting in place are fantastic. Mm. Yeah, that really does uh, sort of digress a little bit from getting started from nothing, yeah. but it, it's amazing to see how quickly things have been moving. I'd love to see where mm. it's going to be in another five years or another six years down the line yeah. to when you spoke about. So let's wrap that up. Getting started from nothing. I think we all agree that getting onto Facebook, you can create a little brand or a name. Yeah. You know, registering yeah. a business, as we know, only costs 15, 20 pounds on a company's house. Like, you can do it. Don't let the barriers to mm. barriers to getting online with your business hold you back because, yes, there's agencies out here like us that can help you achieve loads online, but I think unless you've got a budget to play yeah. with, you've got to do the hard yards yourself, which is, what you, yeah. which is what you spoke about. Yeah. There's, what's that other one? There's, um, I mean, if you've got the time, uh, Twitter, isn't it? Like, Twitter. You know, you get, like, the hours. Yep. Every location generally has, like, yeah. the height in an hour or... or Mm -hmm. St. Ives Hour, they'll like have one hour a week of just straight up networking using a hashtag. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are legit. Yeah, <laughs> those are legit if you've got the time at like oh, 8 o'clock in the evening. That's the same, as the, the same as the Facebook groups in yeah, your local area. 100%. They're a great way to get your name yeah. out there in your area. Just like, I won't say who it is, but there's a, an, another real estate, estate agents around here. I don't really like the work he does, to be fair. I think he looks pretty Mickey Mouse, but he's so relentless in the evenings, mm. sharing to groups, messaging people, hustling other people's bloody posts. Like, there's something to be said for just downright hustling. Yeah. yeah. Hustling, like, just drive in the evenings. Like, yeah. it's, you, how, it's, you can't not see it. No. And that, no. Does, and that, my friends, does not cost a penny. No. no. That's free. Yeah. We're still talking about attention. Yeah, that's the right, whole yeah. game. The whole game is oh, that. That's it. <laughs> you put a comment, a nice comment, just or whatever. Find this on thing on post. Phone. You guys carry on. I'm going to find something. <laughs> Christ. Well, Sam, what else on the agenda? Tips. We've got tips for big businesses. How to use any marketing budget you have. So, like, whether that be fifty pound a month to a thousand pound a month. I'd like to. I'd like mm. to use. Let's just say, two hundred fifty pound a month, five hundred pound a month, and a thousand pound a month. Three things there. Um, what, what are you going to use your money? If you've got 250, what, what are we going to spend that money on? Let's try and keep this a little bit brief. That's 250. £250 a month is your budget. Yes. Where are you going to put it? Depending on your sector. Let's be a bit vague. Be a bit, yeah. a bit vague. Uh, probably Facebook ads. I think it's still the cheapest way of advertising. Yeah. 
Yeah, cost one of, very one of the cheapest. Cost per clicks like six p, something like mm. that. That's what cheap. On, on yeah, the AdWords. Facebook. No, Facebook. Right. Yeah, like as a whole, generally, you'd. I think. Six to ten. I think p, if, we, if we could, we're talking, we're, two, we're saying two fifty as a yeah. as an ad spend is quite a small budget in theory. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Right. Yeah. I, w- I would say. Yeah, I Facebook. Say Facebook. Right, can I? Can I? I found it. Can I digress quickly? Go on, quick. Yeah. Going back to that last point. Yep. Sorry, everyone. By the That's way, right. I was so <laughs> slow finding this. Um, there's that. Let's go back to that thing. Um, the thing. The ten things that require zero talent, but they also require zero money, which goes back to our first point. Goes a long mm. way. Um, being on time, punctuality has become a large issue. Like yeah. being on time. That's like that's work ethic, effort, body language, energy, attitude, passion. Being coachable. Sorry. <laughs> all that sort Sorry. of stuff. Body language. That sort of stuff all transcends into um Yeah. Into that, doesn't it? Not having any money. So what? Look, I've got I've got energy, I've got passion, yeah, 100%. I've got work ethic. Ooh, yeah. I'm coachable. Yeah. yeah. No. I've got a right hand that punches microphones. Yep. Need one. It goes back to doesn't it? Sorry everyone. <laughs> right, there we go. That was a good no, point. it's true. It is very true. Yeah. That's yeah. what sort of dicks along to find everyone. Sorry. So yeah, two hundred fifty pounds a month. Facebook ads? Uh, yeah. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, I'm, I'm still. Is this like this. doing it yourself or? Uh, no, no. no. I, I, was, I was actually seeing this. I was actually <laughs> thinking that how you, an agent, how you, if you wanted to, how probably this is my timeline. You see, so this this first point was getting started. The second one was right now. Mm. We have a bit of budget. How should we use it? Whether it's an agency, whether it be an agency yeah. or or what. This is under my timeline. The third one we're going to talk about is about for bigger companies that have got a marketing team and a, probably a big budget. How yeah. we can not we can help them, but how they oh, could 100%. use. It. So two hundred fifty pound a month. I think you'd have to put it in Facebook, wouldn't you? Yeah, Facebook. They've got so much good stuff now, haven't they? In yeah. considering the value, right? I would I like know. to see that split between Google and Facebook, probably. Yeah, one hundred and fifty on Google, Facebook. You've got to have someone to advise, haven't you? Yeah, you've no, got to I'd have no, someone to advise, set it yeah, up. Yeah, no, so. I would. Talking from my own point of view, I would learn. Oh, 100%. I hundred percent. I would learn to, for the for a hundred pound a month. I'd dabble yep. just so I'm because the things with Google lads, mm. which you all know, is. Those people are looking mm. for your service. Yeah. So yeah. There, there's a whole different customer to Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, you're showing people yeah. your service yep. and hoping that's the service they need. Google, that's already someone actually looking for what you need. So if you're, if you're selling milk, that person has gone onto Google and typed in milk merchants near me. Milk, or, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's the difference. So for me, for £250 pound a month, I'd like to be active in both, both marketplaces. Um, and I would go online and look up other people I would not hire someone for to run my social media for me professionally I would look at people in my sector doing it well and I would replicate them not copy them I would replicate their style what worked for them and thought yeah because that you know they'll have the finger on the pulse yeah if I had 250 pounds my name that's what I would use that's fair. It's a really targeted Facebook ad that was generated that generated sales or, yeah. or a sales funnel to me to a landing page or something yeah and then some kind of Google ad yeah it's the beauty of it though, because you can turn it on and off as yeah. in, when you please. If it ain't working, do something else. Try a different approach yeah. to your ads, etc. You know? Five hundred pound a month. Yeah, five hundred pound a month. What are you gonna spend it on? Very. This is very granular, by the way. Very um, mm. macro. Sorry, it's not very micro. Depending on industry specific, but I think the the fundamentals and sales sales pillars stay the same. Five hundred pound a month. What are you putting your money on? Uh, the adwords. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Red. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, it's he would as well. He's deadly serious. Uh, is it, uh, is uh, it no. what you're putting your money on? No, I, I don't know. It just, it just flicked the switch. Um, yeah, but you could get a grand. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> it's for a big company. Is it? Yeah, I would say if some company with five hundred pound a month to spend has got a. Must be decent sized staff. Let's, let's try and stay on yeah, point. Are we, yeah, are we? Are we? Yeah, are we talking? Are, yeah, are we talking about using an agency or is it everything? Just in general. We just said this a minute ago. Using yeah, an agency. Every, okay. Well, then I'd probably, I'd probably say, use the first month, get a video, get a promotional video. Well, in, make, yeah, you five hundred. Why not? I'd that's, squirt, your, I'd, that's your full budget I'd, gone. I'd make someone do it for cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, we, like you said, we're, we're talking very kind of openly. But yeah, if we're talking about just marketing, I, I don't think I don't think it changes. I just think you go two fifty, two fifty. Yeah, potentially. 
I think those are your two angles, really, yeah. to get started. Maybe. And then, yeah. the, and then the, the, the third part of this, I think it's good. Third part of that is, a, you know, you, it's on with a four-figure budget. Then you, now you're looking at, you know, professional social media management with some SEO work to make sure your organic listings are in point, on point, sorry, and you're ranking for the key monetary keywords that are going to help you and your business really get the phone ringing. Um, yeah. And you've got, and you can have a little bit of, a little bit of PPC, some Facebook work going on outside there, and some Facebook ads. Um, and I'd like to see some, a lot more video content, which is kind of what you're getting there. Yeah. So I, I was, yeah, I, I was. My my idea at five hundred was that you don't have to blow all your budget on everything mm. month to month. You could mm. good thing try and strategize a bit. Of it. Good thing is video. It's a digital asset that you can Once reuse. You got it, yeah. Then use the five hundred yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to promote to, it to promote that video. Promote it, get the most reach, and that kind of that kind of leads us on to the next point. This is, this leads nicely onto the last from the last point. It's tips for big businesses like ones that we've already got a marketing team. They're already having their budget dealt with in house by the team. This is leads us on to the video content aspect. I think, what I know, they're not a lot of businesses. Maybe a bit old, a bit old of school of thought in how video should be used. And some of the work we're doing for Hotel Chocolat, for example, they've got a very creative team, I think is a real insight into where video is going now. They're creating videos for the HR. We're filming them vertically for them. They're distributing across all channels. Internal use? As well as. Okay. Brilliant for HR. Good, good work, Holly. <laughs> off. Which is great. Okay. For... Um, HR, sales, it gives people an insight into the people and the mechanics working behind the scenes in the business. I think what you're talking about is a departmental level. Yeah. Departmental? Department. Departmental. Departmental. And I think that's where some of the bigger firms, they can't quite get their head around mm -hmm. actually going deeper within to each department. Okay, mm -hmm. what's, what's the sales department doing? Yeah. What content are they putting out on their own channels? Yeah. Can we create campaigns just around that department level rather than a company wide? It doesn't have to be company wide video. I think I like that's, that's I think that's that's I think way, you know that's the way forward, eh? But also Yeah, I think the bigger the company, the smaller the stories you should tell because it'll resonate. You you can get there's a big, big company, you think, oh they're big. But actually if you start telling unique, emotional individual stories about yeah. your wonderful staff, yeah, you watch the engagement levels. Increase because do you know why? Because it's relatable. Yeah, no, I'm just telling relatable stories like a lorry, yeah. like a lorry firm. Yeah. Tell the story of John how he gets up in the morning, put, makes his cup of tea, gets in his gets in his lorry. Um, how brilliantly is it his job, and how much he cares about that logo on his chest? You're not talking to me about your wonderful new shiny offices or this or that or this. Tell me about John. Let me and, let, and you know what, who, know what my emotional interest is going to be involved in the people that the real people that are actually spinning that big bloody wheel. You know, yeah, exactly. Those little micro stories that spin yeah. the big, the big. Um, I'm going to swear then, the big fudging wheel. That's what I care about, and I think these bigger businesses, that hotel chocolate, are, 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 you know, they're, they're an absolute powerhouse of a business. <clears> and and look at the work we're doing with them. Like Ollie did these Instagram TV videos. For them and they went down an absolute storm introduced we introduced their fans and followers with the people that are actually in that room making their yeah because it's, it's easy to portray someone yeah. that's like this you know like you, fake you're this firm it's fake run by it? robots or yeah, something it's fake. <laughs> like, tell the story of the true champions yeah. yeah it's brilliant people are going to eat those chocolates and they're actually going to know who made them like yes this is a cool story of chocolates but i'm, I'm saying oh, we could do it with a lorry driving firm or or you know sales tell yeah. them talk to him about Paul the salesman and what's, what's so special about Paul he really cares you know mm. these micro stories are going to blow up on social media mark my words yeah no I agree I agree I, it's a personal touch isn't it mm. just take it separates you from being robots almost yeah like, yeah I'm and really people resonate with that a little more and I, I for one am very excited about seeing that how that's going to unfold for us you know, especially after this this content goes out, and I think it's be really cool yeah. to look back on episode three when we're talking about it now. See yeah. how many more people jump on board. Yeah, these yeah, big yeah. firms have got marketing teams, but I oh, know they're not marketing the, their real content yeah. properly. And also, talent acquisition on these videos is hugely important. Mm. If I'm a lorry driver, I see how John's working. That's, you can use this footage to acquire yeah. new talent for yeah, your business. 100%. Yeah, HR should be screaming. If you're in watching this now from HR, you should be screaming at your marketing team. 
get me some videos of the talented people inside our company. Yeah, no, 100%. Stop putting out guff posters and leaflets and terrible <laughs> videos. Yeah. Put out some real emotional, hard-hitting videos about yeah. the wonderful people working under your roof. Yeah. Cool. Couldn't agree more. Uh, like it. Right, should we uh, wrap it up? I think so. Good. Monkey's had enough anyway. Yeah. He's done all right this week. <laughs> right, I think we should sign out with something special today. Stav, <laughs> you're, 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 you're the king, Stav. You're the king of, of dad this. jokes. See us out, Stav. Hang on. Shh, shh, shh. Dad joke. Oh, you want, I'm on the spot now, aren't I? Come on. What was one I said earlier? <laughs> Ollie, what did I say earlier? <laughs> yes. Go on. Here we go. Yeah. Stav, dad joke. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that, that little Italian place that we're doing a promotional video yeah. for, he, uh, they, they wanted something really, really authentic <laughs> and, um, you know, the music, they wanted it really authentic Italian, you yeah. know, almost like from the, place, from the place itself. I says, for God's sake, don't be so silly. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's so bad. Let's go. It's so Let's bad. Let's go. Right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> That was an horrendous dad joke. But tune in for episode four. That's eight, four. And uh, we're going to have some amazing points to talk about. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.